It was through school, mostly, um, the name calling, because I was born with cancer, um, left my face disfigured and got all kinds of names for that. And then again, when I was 16, I got into work as a apprentice in a garage with, for cars. And it happened there again, not for my not for my appearance, but for what I could and couldn't do. I think the main reason was he couldn't be bothered um, taking the time to show me what he knew and what he should have showed me. Um, he just got on with what he did and he told me to do something that I couldn't do. So it was just mainly that, yeah, that he couldn't be bothered. I felt angry and annoyed, really. Um, he knocked my confidence down quite a bit. Many times I cried myself to sleep. My mum and dad knew something was wrong, but I just didn't take the time to talk to them. I thought I could sort it out myself. Since then, I worked with SNAP. Um, so I know now, I know all my rights. I know everything about discrimination, about diversity and all that kind of stuff, inclusion. The worst thing is not to talk to anybody. And the main one is, is to talk to somebody that has also been bullied or been bullied in the past. There's no point talking to somebody who doesn't know what you're on about. You're better off talking to someone who's been through that experience.